do you think Alibaba is worth? If we do the math, I did the simple math, it's not that hard. You suck out the Alibaba value, you suck out the Yahoo Japan value, you suck out the cash, you add back the debt, and you get a negative $3.8 billion valuation <laughs> for Stub Yahoo. Now, I know there's more to it than that, but let's start the conversation here. Is it possible that what Yahoo is is actually less than zero? No, I don't think so. I mean, first of all, you have to assume that taxes. Uh, that is the difference in this gap that you're pointing out. Uh, it's unrealistic to assume that Yahoo gets away without paying any taxes. In fact, uh, I was reviewing last night all the things they've said over the past two years, and it's mostly been uh, talking about how their plan is coming, uh, or they'll tell us at a point in the future about what their tax strategy is. Uh, with regard to Alibaba. Now, on the two occasions where they've sold stock, they paid around 40% taxes, right? So they will pay a reasonably hefty percentage. Forget about what the bankers are making. Think about what the government will be making. Well, it, uh, does it not <laughs> depend, though, on where they decide, what juris in what jurisdiction they decide to book those proceeds? A lot of Yahoo's stake in Alibaba is held by Yahoo Hong Kong, where there is no capital gains tax. If they chose well, to keep that... Well, I've seen at least one opinion suggesting, and I'm not a tax lawyer, I would recommend Nor am I. a tax lawyer... <laughs> What? Yes, I um, thought you were. <laughs> but it is possible that, as a controlled foreign corporation, that they can, in fact, ha still have to pay uh, mm. those capital gains taxes. And to be clear, it's not just capital gains taxes. You pay it at your income tax rate. So when you have uh, your federal tax, your state tax, uh, the real telling thing, though, is that in two years of questions being posed, and again, you go through the transcripts over the last two years, Yahoo has... Uh, refrain from providing any clarity whatsoever in this regard. If it were as simple as saying there's no taxes, wouldn't we have heard about it by now? So, so for argument's sake, what value should we ascribe to the Alibaba stake? If it's not $35 billion on a tax-adjusted basis, what makes sense to you? Low 20s? The low 20s. Does that make sense? Yes, exactly. Okay, so low 20s then, we, we, we've got $12 billion of value that we could add back so we had negative four, now we're positive eight. Is that all <laughs> Yahoo's worth, $8 it, billion? It, dollars? It's actually, yeah, that's about right. And that's about where I come out. I have a $37 price target. And that's, frankly, it, it, these will have to be adjusted as Alibaba uh, goes out because that will impact uh, how Yahoo's valued. But I think that it's a, a reasonable valuation on uh, Yahoo will be in the mid to high billion dollar kind of range. Uh, I get to about a six seven dollars of value for core yahoo all the cash that they'll generate in the future because remember this for the despite the lack of growth it does produce cash and so i don't doubt they'll have any problem continuing to do that they'll right, spend if, a lot of cash it produces mm -hmm. cash but what happens if suddenly marissa meyer is flush with cash and she doesn't come up with some big strategy some acquisition plan then what what's she going to do with all this though and what does it say about the future and the management of the company Absolutely. As it is in my model, I'm assuming in four years' time they're spending a billion dollars a year to get 2% growth, um, which may not be the most efficient use of capital, but that doesn't mean it won't happen. So, John was thinking he might ask a yeah. question. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I, I'm wondering too what they're going to do with all the, the cash. They, they, they don't have a, the, the track record for building new businesses isn't, isn't necessarily there, so it's going to be about what they acquire yeah. next, right? Exactly. And I think that they do have a chance to reinvent themselves. That's absolutely the case. Uh, I guess to the extent that Alibaba has been a very large fig leaf, they've uh, been able to buy themselves time okay, to figure Brian, out what they want there, to be. There, there's no argument. They have a chance to reinvent themselves. Clearly, they're going to have the cash to do it. Do you believe Marissa has the chops to do it? I'm not certain yet. Um, you know, I've been, as you may recall, somewhat uh, tepid towards how the choices they've made so far. Um, I think that they've made incremental progress in conveying they understand the challenges ahead of them. But the contrast for the, uh, in Yahoo's case is look at AOL. Uh, I'm not a pioneer on AOL's value, but they're basically in the same position two years ago in terms of their core business. AOL has invested in the right places where there is growth, at least on the top line, if not profitability-wise. Um, Will Yahoo figure it out? Uh, it's possible. Everybody who knows Marissa Meyer seems to think she's incredibly smart, capable, um, and given enough time, uh, one might expect that they would figure out. Well, then how much is enough be. time? 
I know. This is the point. As I've <laughs> said, I'm expecting on a $5 billion revenue base in four years' time, they're growing at 2%, but they're spending a billion dollars of capital expenditures to get there. That's what I'm assuming. So it's not exactly an optimistic assessment. Uh, what's, what's strange is that there hasn't been a clear communication as to what the plan is after Alibaba. That, as a public company, that's one of the things that seems to be to me the most important thing here is is that they're they're not making it clear what the plan is. So do you think they actually have one? Uh, I think if they had one, they're keeping it close to the vest. It's probably more likely that they're figuring it out. Um, but I don't really think they have uh, a particularly clear plan at this point in time. Isn't technology part of the problem here, Brian? I mean, we can count on one hand the number of technology companies that have turned it around, the high-tech whatever superhighway, right, is littered with burned out yeah. wrecks of companies that tried to turn it around and ended up running out of money. It's different in tech than it is in, say, basic industry, isn't it? I, I don't know. I mean, Yahoo is, in my view, a little more than the evolution of the magazine or the newspaper, right? Hmm. It is uh, facing very similar issues, that uh, it used to be the most efficient way for advertisers to accomplish certain goals, and now there are plenty of other ways for marketers to accomplish certain goals. It, Yahoo, remember, in my view, has made one key mistake. They focus too much on the consumer. Yes, you have to focus on the consumer, but they fail to think about their customers, the advertisers.